Hi everyone, in this video we will take a look at how you can install Docker on Ubuntu. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can install Docker, um, some a lot more uh, complex and uh, better or more sophisticated, um, however uh, in this approach I'm, I'm showing you how you can install Docker possibly in the simplest way uh, without leveraging a lot of uh, uh, the packaging manager features, uh, so it's really simple to get started. Um, so basically there are four key steps uh, that you need to follow to install Docker and uh, the fifth step here is purely optional. I'm just showing you how you can um, download uh, an image and just uh, run Docker against that image but uh, with the first four steps uh, you should be um, having uh, Docker installed on Ubuntu. Uh, so we are going to be making use of curl uh, to do the install and uh, we will take a look at uh, if uh, curl is already installed and if not uh, we need to install it so you can type switch curl uh, to see if curl is installed nope uh, it's not installed so let's uh, install that and it's always uh, good to um, run uh, apt update uh, so, that, so let's make sure all, it's all updated and then once that's done, uh, we'll then uh, go ahead and install curl. Okay, so let's install curl. Okay, go ahead. And then finally, when, uh, once that's done, we should have curl uh, available. And then we can go ahead and install the latest uh, Docker package. And just clear that. And let's paste that there. Okay, so now Docker is installed. Um, uh, you're being provided a prompt uh, requesting you to add your user, the logged in user, into the Docker group. Now, that's always a good idea, otherwise, uh, every time you're running Docker, um, if you don't want to use uh, 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 the root account, it's a good idea and also uh, avoids you from having to keep uh, typing sudo uh, in, in front of your Docker command. So, let's actually um, add the user so um, on this machine I've logged in as Melvin so you'll have to change um, the username here and let's just paste that there. oops then copy that so here copy and let's just paste that there all right so uh, keep in mind that the effect hasn't uh, taken place so if we type in ID here uh, you'll notice that uh, uh, the user is still not part of um, the Docker group as mentioned here, so we need to uh, log out and log back in. So um, I'm going to pause the video, log out and log back in. Okay, so I've just uh, logged back in and uh, let's resume. So in the last step, uh, that was step 3, we have added um, the user uh, to the Docker group and uh, we can verify that by typing an ID again. And this time you'll notice that um, the user is a uh, member of that group. So again, I just logged out and logged back in. Now, um, depending on how you have installed it, uh, chances are um, uh, Docker has not automatically started. Uh, so if you're uh, going down the path of um, the using packaging managers, it's, uh, it should have automatically uh, started Docker as a service. But uh, in this particular approach, um, Docker is not automatically started, so you can do a quick uh, check. Uh, so you can see that uh, the process hasn't started. So let's actually start Docker. All right. So now Docker is running. Uh, to verify if Docker is working properly, uh, a few things that we can do is uh, we can uh, just run the Docker info command, and gives us an uh, idea of um, you know uh, the Docker information. Uh, as well as the post information that's uh, running the Docker service. Uh, so that's a good sign that uh, Docker is working. Uh, but to see if it's working well, let's actually uh, run it against a sample um, image uh, that's provided with Docker. I mean, uh, that's provided by Docker. Uh, so let's run. Um, so basically what it's doing is uh, it's going to run this image. Uh, we don't have that image already uh, installed on the machine, so it's going to uh, download that image and um, basically run that uh, image as well. Um, so here we can see that this is uh, the expected output. It's kind of like the hello world equivalent if you will. And, uh, 
basically shows you that uh, Docker is working and um, it's actually run the, uh, the, the image. Uh, so uh, the container. So uh, let's actually uh, see a few of the Docker commands. So if you want to see what are the installed images, you can run Docker images. And um, we have only installed one image so far. Let me increase the size of this window again. Uh, maybe a bit more. Again, so here we can see that um, there's only one image installed, uh, and it was just installed uh, um, a few minutes ago. Uh, the other thing we can do now that we have Docker is um, as an example. Um, so again, these are all the steps that you needed to do to install Docker, and we have quickly verified that Docker is working. Uh, now that Docker is working, we can um, install um, uh, an Ubuntu image. Um, add an Ubuntu image here. So. Uh, the way you can look for images, uh, these are standard Im images published on the Docker Hub, is uh, to do a Docker search and uh, Ubuntu. And uh, there's quite a lot of uh, images already there, and as you can see from this uh, list here, these are all Ubuntu images. Um, best case in these circumstances is to look for the official image. You'll see a column here showing if it's uh, official or not. So. Yeah, you can see that we have an image called Ubuntu and uh, that's uh, received a lot of uh, community stars voting and of course it's the official uh, Ubuntu image so we can actually pull that so Docker pull Ubuntu okay. uh, The image should be uh, downloading in a couple of minutes uh, depending on uh, your internet uh, bandwidth Okay, so that's uh, in, uh, that's downloaded the image, the Ubuntu latest uh, image, and if we check for images here, yeah, so that's Docker images. Uh, you can see that um, the Ubuntu image has uh, also uh, been made available. Uh, so now, if we want to uh, run that, so that's Docker run. Um, we can uh, put Ubuntu here. Uh, you'll notice that if, uh, if it, uh, it's uh, it's basically instantiated that image and uh, it's exited as well. So if we wanted to uh, run it in the shell, run it uh, interactively, um, this is how you can do that. So now we have actually got into um, that um, uh, Docker container. So you'll notice that uh, it's running as root, and this is uh, the name of the host. So. Uh, the host name uh, of uh, that container. Uh, so of course, um, when you run it, you can set the host name as well. So from here, you could run all the commands here, and uh, it's all within the container to exit. Type uh, exit here, and now you're back uh, in your host uh, environment. Uh, so that's it for this uh, quick video to uh, install um, uh, Docker and do a quick couple of tests, and uh, we have also. Uh, downloaded a sample Ubuntu image. Uh, hope you found the video useful. Thanks everyone for watching.